guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, and this is my roommate, Laura. <gasps> Not for long! <laughs> well, yeah. So I am moving out, and unfortunately, she won't be my roommate any longer, and I'm really sad about it. If I could, I would keep her for, like, all of my years of, like, having a roommate. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I am moving out. There will be moving vlogs. This is actually going to be attached to a moving vlog, but we literally just decided, like, we're going to take so long telling our story, so um, we decided to just make a, like, separate vlog. So we're going to talk about how we even got to this place. Um, so first day of Summer B. Literally first day. Um, we actually met at orientation, and I had her phone number. I knew she was doing Summer B, so I was like, hey, do you want to come over, like, the first day of classes or whatever. So she comes over and I'm like, dude, I literally got like a shared bedroom. I'm so pissed because like I was living in an apartment style and I was just not used to it and I was not ready to share a room. Like no way, Jose. And I lived in like a shared apart or a shared dorm over summer and I hated it. Her roommate was just like not a good roommate and I was like, that scared me, you know? Yeah. So that's when I was like, okay, Maybe let's try to like look off campus because I wasn't opposed to it at all. We both were going to have our on-campus experiences that summer. So we were like, honestly, like, it's not like we have to wait till fall and live there a whole year. Like yeah. we are going to get it over with and get it out of our systems. I feel like we didn't even tell our parents until we like went. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> well, no, because I think I asked them like, is it okay if I even like look on yeah. campus? Because I didn't know how they, they felt because I know some parents are like weird about it. Like, mm -hmm. no, that's a distraction. I know my mom actually was like, if you get one C, like you're moving out. Do we tour a lot of I them? don't think we did. I feel like we only toured this place. That's just how I'm re remembering it because, yeah, because like remember like the other one we really liked after we lived here and we are like, oh my gosh, why didn't we tour this? Yeah. Like, we literally toured nothing. We came here because yeah, we, true. like, <laughs> saw it and we're like, oh, this would be nice. Yeah. Oh, we went to the other place. Oh, yeah. And then they were booked. Oh, yeah. And they were hella expensive. Yeah, so, we're like, so no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, but the other selling point was that it was a little bit cheaper. Like, maybe by, like, you know, a few hundred dollars here and there. Anything to make our parents say yes, yeah. I feel like <laughs> we kind of went for it. Um, so that was definitely one point. And then literally our place is two minutes away from campus. Mm -hmm. You literally just like go through cross a light across yeah. <laughs> the street and you're on campus. So that's really nice too. Like we didn't really live that far away. So there was really nothing to be worried about. And there's like a shuttle here to go to campus, which is really nice. We both used it. Um, and it was very convenient. So let's get into our stories about this, this lovely, lovely place, place before I move out. Like, what is our first story? I remember when um, she first moved here, like she came here before me because she was going through recruitment. Uh -huh. And I remember when you first came here, I was like so excited to see because you got here before me. Yeah. And she was like, oh, she like called me. She's like, Laura, this place has horrible lighting. That, it's probably so the first small. thing. First and thing I, was I like, said. I was so scared. She sent me pictures and like everything was like pitch black. I'm pretty sure I literally tried to set up my camera in front of the window and I was like, oh my god. Like, it's not gonna work out. And I'm, I'm literally in a contract for like a year. And then we actually ended up renewing it because we were like, honestly, we just don't want to move. Yeah, seriously. So we kind of got used to it. I really recommend picking a place with good lighting and making sure you have good lighting. I swear that affected so much of my mood during freshman year like I like I don't want to say I was depressed but I did like I was not in the best yeah. moods at all time it made me feel so homesick so lonely like I could not get out of bed because the light wasn't shining through to like wake me up if that makes yeah. sense it makes you so much more like lazy I can't even like do my homework in here because I'm just like well I guess it's time for bed because it's dark in yeah. here <laughs> like um but yeah so definitely that was like the first thing I noticed about this place so I won't miss that <laughs> So one night we had like our friends over and you know we're just But I wasn't there, right? You weren't there yet. Okay. I think you were like at your sorority. Oh. Okay. And we're all just hanging out and stuff and like I go to the bathroom. Well no, there was a cockroach in my room, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and so I got one of my friends to kill it on the wall and like he walked out and like I'm screaming of course. <laughs> so like I go back to clean the guts off the wall. <laughs> and so as I'm done, I come back outside and there's just <laughs> two guys in the apartment that like I don't know. <laughs> 
And so I'm like looking at like all the people, like my friends, and I'm like, like who are these people? Mm -hmm. And so um, they're, they're just like talking to me and they're like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, what do you mean, what's up? Like, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And I was like, I was like, did like he let you in? Like, talking about one of my friends. And they're like, no, we just walked in. And I was like, like, why do you think that's okay? Like, you don't just weird. walk into people. I think they were on something. No, he literally was like, Coked on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of his, his friends said that. And I was like, okay, can you get out? <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, oh my gosh. Speaking of cockroaches, we've had a lot in our time. You! It's what? always around you. We haven't seen them lately. Have you? No, I haven't. I, I haven't, haven't seen either. them in like 10 years. Oh, except for that one that was in my room. <laughs> that you don't kill because you just like sleep with them. <laughs> I don't, like, they're so fast. If I, if I'm not just going to oh, spend so my scary. time and effort just trying to chase it. <laughs> okay, so my story... I've been wanting to tell you guys, and I wish I had, like, my, um, witnesses, um, to share with you guys, but she is kind of witness, kind of. Okay, so, one day, one of my friends was over, and we were just sitting in my bed watching a scary movie. I don't know what it's called. Do you know what the movie is called? Hush. Hush, okay. And it's about a deaf girl that lives in the middle of the woods for some reason. I think she lives alone, doesn't she? Yeah. And, um, so her friend comes over, and, like, it's late at night or whatever, and her friend leaves, and, like, guy like kills her friend i guess he's just like messing around with the girl inside he figures out that she is deaf so she he like tries to smash her friend up against the window like bloody and stuff like that and like then he realizes that she's deaf and so basically the whole movie is him like banging on the window trying to get her attention and like luring her out then after the movie, we were like, okay, that was really scary. I'm not trying to, like, you know, watch any other scary things right now. Let's watch, like, funny videos on YouTube. So that's what we did. We, like, started watching these random, random videos. I don't remember the last time I watched, like, random funny videos on YouTube. But we did, and my windows were actually open. And, unfortunately, we do live on the first floor, um, which is not safe. Um, at all. <laughs> for this reason. And... I guess I didn't really, like, realize that my windows were open for some reason. It didn't really, like, occur to me just because I was with someone. If I'm alone, like, I'll, I'll shut them really quick because it's, like, scary. Mm -hmm. But, like, I guess because I was with someone and, like, the lights were off um, when we were watching the scary movie, I didn't really realize. But when we were watching the YouTube videos, they were on. So, basically, while we were watching the funny movies, all of a sudden, I see this hand smacking on my window. Let's just pause for a minute. Like, just, like, hating I my window. I can't even imagine. Like, I was asleep this whole time. Mm -hmm. And, like, if I was like you, I would be paralyzed. I, I, was, I was about to cry. I think my first instinct was, like, to turn off the lights and, like, try to see who it was. By the time all that happened, like, the guy just, like, left, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, like, the gate to our balcony is kind of high up. So, you would have to, like, literally take effort yeah. and, like, jump over. Um, and it was just, like, so weird and scary like especially after you watch like a literal movie about a deaf girl and the guy banging on her window like trying to get her attention and me and my friend were like literally like what what the heck like we were in such shock and like obviously we didn't really call the police because it literally happened in like a second like i don't i just didn't know what to do in that situation so i ran in the living room and tried to like um, close all the blinds and then turn on the light to Were see. Were the blinds open in the living room? I think so. Oh my god. Yeah. And so then I turned on the light to see if he was like still out there, which obviously he wasn't. And then I like called Laura. I was like, did you hear that? And she was, I don't know. I, I literally was like, I thought that was my dream. Yeah. Because I heard her like calling me on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. But I didn't like think it was real so yeah. I thought it was part of my dream so that's why I always like close my windows at night I mean like I know that's what you're supposed to but I I feel like I used to not because I liked waking up like to with a like little light. bit of like light in my eye the little bit that I have <laughs> um but yeah so I can't do that anymore <laughs> this is like more of a story I went through and mm -hmm. I think I told you I don't know but one time we were my boyfriend and I we were chilling in my room and like all of a sudden there were like it sounded like gunshots, honestly. It was just, like, a lot a lot of, like, thumping. Uh -huh. And, like, it was, like, really rowdy outside because, like, like we said, we're in the bag. Like, we can see everything. And so I quickly, like, turned the lights off because, like, oh, I think I 
Because right. obviously, like, if the lights are on, you can't see outside. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so, like, my boyfriend looked through the window, and, like, he, like, jumped back so fast away from it. And I was like, what is going on? So I looked myself, and there was, like, a kid running and, like, being chased by the cops, like, <laughs> right out of it. And he jumped on our balcony. And Tony was literally like, oh, my God, like, he just jumped on the balcony. That's why he, like, oh jumped back because he didn't know who this person what was. What the hell? But I was like, why do people, like, think it's okay to jump on our yeah. balcony? <laughs> we need to have a sign, do not cross, yeah, like, like, seriously. Private like, property. I don't know if you heard it. It was, like, such a loud, like, thought like when he came on the balcony i feel like i remember you telling me this and i might have like heard it but i didn't know it was yeah but it was so scary i was like oh my god this place pro tip don't live on the first floor if you have a choice we're back we asked snapchat if you guys have any questions about like living off campus and on campus or whatever and we received three questions i'm not very patient it's been like 14 minutes so we're just gonna go ahead and answer these questions um, okay, so the first one, um, Agnes said, did you choose your roommate beforehand? And for summer B, I met my roommate on room surf, and did, didn't you? Or no? Yours is random? Mine was completely random. Did you not choose one? Mm -hmm. Did you not know? Well, I got, no like, de I got deferred from UCF, and so I literally found out oh. that I got in, like, in April, and so a lot of people already had their roommates for summer already, so, like, I kind of just went with whoever. Oh, shit, that kind of sucks. Yeah. But we picked each other. Oh, um, like I said, we met each other at orientation, and then, like, that first day of summer B, I guess we, you know, hit it off. We connected. Yeah, clicked. Kristen said... I signed a lease at University House. Have you guys heard anything good or bad about it? I'll be new to UCF. Well, that was one of the places we originally, like, not originally, we toured last year, mm -hmm. and we loved it. It looks gorgeous inside. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard a lot of bad things Yeah, that's it. the thing. Like, even the ratings <laughs> compared to the place we live yeah. are worse, which is shocking. Very shocking. Because it looks beautiful, and, like, yeah. everyone, like... And another thing that we didn't like about University House was that, like, where we live, it's a straight shot into campus, but you'd have to, like, turn out of this little tiny lane, get into, like, a lane, go all the way over to you turn back to campus. Exactly. So it's just, like, really annoying, and I was like, I don't want to live here just because of that. Yeah. And I heard the parking garage is really hard to deal with, but, like, isn't every apartments and i heard that their alarms go off like every day yeah i forgot yeah yeah and that their wi-fi is really bad we should be more positive <laughs> yeah um <laughs> it's beautiful it's really pretty okay maddie said where are you living next year i'm gonna miss seeing you guys and videos together why are you gonna miss us because we'll be in vlogs together anyways like i'm gonna be over here like every a day. lot not every day every day you're not even gonna invite every me over day. every day every day She's going to come over every night to tuck me in for bed, and she's going to be the first person to wake me up in the morning. And I'm going to cook steaks here because I won't have a kitchen, Aww. and going to make cookies when I want a cookie. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Because we've had our time. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm literally going to cry. But um, to answer the question, where am I living next year? I am living in my sorority house. So that will be interesting because I'm going to have to share a room with someone. And that's actually why I like lived here because I didn't want to share a room <laughs> with someone. So, you know, we shall see. I think it'll be fine though. And I think it'll be good for us too because like now we'll like see each other and not just be like roomies. We'll be like yeah. BFFs. Because we have a lot in common. Yeah. But it's like I feel like we don't even put that to use. Like yeah, we both true. are into like Instagram and blogging. Yeah. Like, but we never even like like go on photo shoots and exactly. stuff like that. So yeah. now that'll be our excuse to hang out even more. Yeah, that's true. So it'll be good. Blogger dates. Hashtag blogger dates. Okay, well I have a video to show you that I made for you. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> serious. Shut up. I'm serious. Shut I'm up. Serious. Hold on. Let me find it. You're so weird. Laura told me she was going to make a slideshow of, like, all our memories so I can cry when I move out. And I was like, no, you're freaking not. You're not doing that. You did not. I did. Shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm scared. Does it have music? It does. How long is it? Seven minutes. What the hell? It's like this girl's, 
like proposing to me. <laughs> this morning I watched like Makeup by Ali's video and apparently her boyfriend made this video for her birthday or whatever and he literally proposed to her while she was You're proposing to me, aren't you? I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. What the heck? What the hell? <laughs> so we're making You're giving me a million reasons. <laughs> Wait, maybe we should do the comedy. Santiago! Santiago! What the hell? <laughs> what did you do? I thought she was so... Ew! What? Ew! I'm so grossed out. Slam. 
We still don't have our blogger photo shoots though. Sure. It's gonna be okay. <clears throat> I wanna cry, but it's so funny, so like I can't. No, literally I cried. <laughs> I, I literally was bawling my eyes out. <laughs> I look, I literally look like, oh, oh, the light up, snowman. <laughs> what is it, what is I saying? Por favor. Oh. Por favor, por favor. <laughs> oh yeah, Caroline. <laughs> I literally just went through all her videos one day. Damn. <laughs> and I said, clip, clip, clip. It was honestly, so long. I had to download like everything. No, I know. I bet. But honestly, it's really fun watching my vlogs back. Like, mm -hmm. like I like it because it's just like, wow, I remember that. Yeah. Aww. TBT. <laughs> oh, shit. Giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? You said thank you. You're talking to the tech guy. Oh. <laughs> That's stupid. That's tripod. This is my favorite song. Me about to die yeah. on the ledge of the world. <laughs> no big deal. She wanted me to die. It's fine. You wanted to kill yourself. I know. <laughs> Look at your, do you see your finger? No. Go back. What was wrong with my finger? That's why it was, okay, hold on. <laughs> what? Why is it bad like that? I double jointed. Ew, that hurts like that. my fingers. Ew. Ew. That literally what I saw. My dad and me used to do this on the dinner table all the time. Stop. <laughs> I hate this song! You're gonna make me cry! I hope you do. I hope I don't. Oh. Ah. Oh. It says visit me every day for at least two hours, so I'm gonna hold her to it. You're gonna visit me. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna hold you to it. Okay, I'll be there. Thanks for making a video. You're the weirdest freaking <laughs> person ever. I literally had this. Right, where's my, my ring? <laughs> I had this on my laptop for like a month. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> she literally told me she was gonna make it, and I was like, "You're literally not." Like, <laughs> shut up. I was gonna Weird. host you a party <laughs> and then like play on the TV <laughs> when like you my farewell. Me. Like. <laughs> But I'm like, oh that's God. really weird, Laura. Stop. That's so funny. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably a little long. Um, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> really long. <laughs> wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Um, but we will see you guys in some more vlogs this summer. Not really because... I'm going to visit you in Georgia. Stop saying that. Okay, I told you I was going to make you a video and I did. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to hold you to it then too. But she is has a really cool internship, so congrats to her. Thank you. And it's like really, really cool. She's interning at Big Eye Orlando, which is like super cool. Um, and then I'm going back home just doing me, you know, not as cool as her, but still gonna be with my dog, so we'll, we'll, we'll be worth it. it. Yeah. <laughs> BT dubs, I'll have Laura's blog and Instagram and whatever else in the description below, so make sure to follow her if you guys like seeing her on my blog, switch. I bet you guys do, then go follow all of her links and stuff like that. Peace.